Hi everyone, so we're back with another braid today. Uh, this one's got a pop of colour to it, I think you'll love it. So I'm starting off by just parting the hair in almost like a curved shape. So I'm starting off with like a curved almost letter C and just coming down slightly towards the ear and then stopping there. Uh, and then you're going to tie that hair out of your way. And then you're going to do exactly the same on the other side, trying to make sure it is symmetrical. I find this bit really hard. Just do the best you can. It doesn't really matter. So tie that bit up. Then you're going to tie the rest of the hair out of the way. Then I want you to take one of the ponytails out and we're going to be doing a Dutch lace braid. I have got a video how to do tight braids that I will link for you. Um, but basically it's a normal Dutch braid but only taken from one side. So split the hair in three. Outside section comes underneath. Outside section comes underneath. One more time. And on this strand now it goes underneath and I'm going to add a little tiny section of hair. So you want that braid to kind of sit where that part line is. So it's going to be a nice little curved braid. So take your time, adding in little sections. You can use bigger chunks if you want to, if you haven't got lots of time. So you're going to do that until you've run out of hair. Last piece is going in now. And then I want you to do a normal three strand braid. Um, make this as long as you want to. You can go all the way down, three quarters, half, whatever you feel. Make it nice and tight and nice and neat. And then when you're happy, you'll just tie a little elastic. And then you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. That braid is going to follow that curve. And then you're just going to do a three strand braid all the way down. Now, I have to apologize. Our video cut out and we didn't know. So all I did now is I got a pink bit of twine so you could use anything you want as long as it's nice and thin and then I got a darning needle so it's like nice and rounded at the ends and I threaded it through the top part of the braid so it's equal on both sides and then I took one of those um, pieces of string or sort of twine and I started to do a little cross stitch all the way down until you've finished the braid that's on the head so I sort of did one side first and then I, w I, I released that section threaded the needle again and then I went back to the other side and I did a little stitch. Um, if you want me to do another tutorial on how I did this, I can do, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to grasp what I'm on about. Once you've come to the braid that's at the end, you're going to just use your hands at this point and you're going to go cross over at the back, cross over at the front. You can keep using the needle if you want to, but I just thought what's the point when I can do it nice and fast with my hands. This is the finished result. You can use any color that you want to. I just think it looks really, really cute. You could do pigtails if you wanted to. Let me know in the comments if this was enough of an explanation. If not, then no problem. I can make another tutorial for you.